Hi guys, it's Anita Serene and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's psychic reading, I really don't know what I'm doing. In today's psychic reading, we are going to discover what you can expect in the month of October using the tarot cards as well as my intuition. Just want to put some shameless self-promotion here, but if you guys resonate with my readings and you like getting psychic guidance from me, I do have a Patreon. And if you sign up for that Patreon, you get four extra videos a month from me that are a lot more accurate and personalized because I'm reading for a smaller audience. So if you want more content from me, pick a cards that are only exclusively on patreon be sure to sign up the link is in the pinned comment as well as the description now what is this fall season going to bring you well, let's discover it if you are new to psychic readings i need you to pick one of the options with your intuition and then once you pick an option you can fast forward to the timestamps i provide in the pinned comment as well as the description once you pick an option, the timestamps are located down below. You click the timestamp next to your chosen option and it will fast forward you right to your October prediction. Feel free to take as much time as you need to meditate on the options. Pause the video if you need to. But we are about to get started. Now, if your intuition is feeling a little bit shaky, as I always say, you could use a random number picker, generate a random number between one, two, three, and whatever the random number generator generates is the one you are supposed to listen to. That's what I do, and it never leads me astray, especially when you have decision paralysis. Now listen up, guys. We are about to get started. So if you need more time, be sure to pause that video, but I will see you at your October prediction. Hi, group number one. For those of you guys who chose this group right here, this is your October prediction. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with three angel messages, which are messages from your angels for the month of October. So let's take a look at what they have to say. So the first card that we have here is entrepreneur. You guys are natural entrepreneurs. And also, I think this is a sign that your business is going to be doing really well, especially if you were planning to own your own business, especially if you were planning to work for yourself or if you're running your own business. This is a definite strong sign that your business is going to be doing very well. And if you were thinking about going in that direction, it is going to be going very well in the month of October. We also have the card of new career. Oh my gosh, group number one, this is a sign that your career is going to be popping off in the month of October. It's going to be going really well. Both of the cards that we drew out of three related to your career. Um, so if you guys were doing something new when it came to your own business, or you were thinking about switching over to entrepreneurship, this is definitely a sign that it is being blessed by the universe and it's going to be going really well. So there is no need to worry. I'm also seeing with this grief card, your angels are telling me that a lot of you guys you might currently be going through some heartbreak or you might be suffering from a little bit of depression, you know, a little bit of the shower cry, a little bit of the, I can't get out of bed. Oh my gosh, I've been on TikTok for eight hours and all I've eaten are Oreos and Doritos. Okay. No judgment, but some of you guys, you're dealing with grief and sadness. And I'm actually seeing in October, we're being a little bit of an alchemist as I'm seeing with the sacral chakra energy, okay, which deals with creativity, by the way, um, when it's with entrepreneurship and grief, I think that this grief that you're feeling, instead of just laying around in your bed, feeling like crap, feeling like you just want to you know what I mean? I feel like you're actually going to alchemize it into really succeeding at your job or in your side hustle or in your career. So that is a positive of what I'm seeing, you know, because sometimes we will get 
into a depression and we won't want to do anything. I know I have been there myself and it is not fun, but it kind of feels like, um, October is the month where you're like, you know what? I'm a sad, I'm, I might be a sad B I T C H, but I'm going to be a successful sad B I T C H. So we're, we're climbing up the ladder using our sadness. All right. That's amazing. So already we are starting off really good in the career sector. I'm actually hearing for you that all actions you take in your career are going to be super successful in the month of October, but I also have my career deck, um, which I got on Etsy, which I love Etsy for tarot decks because you find the most uniquest decks on there. Um, so I have a career deck, so we're going to get three more clarifiers for your career. Okay, so what I'm seeing, guys, is you are letting your, um, you feel with this emotions card and the setbacks card, you might be feeling a little bit discouraged about where you are at, or you might be feeling discouraged, or you might be feeling like giving up. And I'm really hearing the message. For those of you guys don't know, I am a Christian because it's gotten me through very dark times. It's okay if you are not. But what I feel intuitively, what I'm hearing from God is don't let setbacks make you give up. You might feel like giving up right before you hit gold. You might feel like just laying in bed, not waking up in the morning. You might feel like you're a total failure, but I'm seeing with this takeoff card, do not give up. Keep going because in October, a lot of your actions are going to be successful and you are going to see some wins. Actually, I see that your own worst enemy is your own inner critic and yourself. You are on the right path. And a lot of you guys, you have a gift of writing, okay? So some of you are writing a book or you guys are speakers. You are a wordsmith and you have a way with words. This is one of your natural talents. Very charismatic speakers, very charismatic writers that I am definitely seeing here for you guys. I also heard a lot of you have a Scorpio who feels like you are their soulmate. This is something that I heard. And it's crazy because this Scorpio really acts very like cold and uninterested because I saw the King of Swords. So group number Number one, when it comes to love, um, I'm definitely feeling a Scorpio sun, a Scorpio rising, a Scorpio moon who feels like you could like you are their soulmate, you're their dream person, but they act so cold and detached and they act like they're not that interested or aloof in a sort of sense. If you guys know someone like this, ooh. This tarot card wants to just stick to the table. You guys also have a Taurus that is extremely jealous of you or extremely mad at you. Beware of a Taurus sun, moon, and rising in the month of October. This person might bring a lot of drama is what I'm hearing. Tell me more about this Taurus, blue moon, and Scorpio. So this Scorpio keeps coming back up. Actually, there's a Scorpio that feels like they're never going to meet someone else like you. I'm hearing you are literally the person of their dreams, and they didn't even think someone like you existed. Existed. That's what I'm getting from the blue moon and Neptune. Neptune talks about the ideal fantasy. Blue moon talks about when a fantasy actually comes into fruition in your real life. And you're like, oh my gosh, this is so rare. How could it be? I'm seeing group number one. There's a Scorpio sun, moon or rising in your vicinity. And if they're not a Scorpio, this person is just secretive. They're intense. They could dress a little bit gothic, okay? Um, they feel like you are their dream person and they can't even believe that you're real. You are everything that they wished for and more. How do you feel about this person? The Knight of Pentacles, you might not even suspect it because this person moves very slow. They do show you very practically they like you, but from how you perceive them, you think that they move slow and you want them to move faster, but this person is coming in very fast in October to offer you some sort of emotional connection. Or I'm also hearing for those of you who are single, a new chapter 
in love is opening up very fast for you and you're entering a new chapter in the month of October that's filled with emotional fulfillment and happiness and love. And also, I think this person is going to start moving a little bit faster in October. I see a lot of you who are single, a new love that is coming into your life. And for those of you who you know aren't interested in love or love doesn't come in, I'm definitely seeing a new chapter is beginning for you in October. And this new chapter involves a lot of financial prosperity. Um, a lot of you guys, this new chapter... I also heard a lot of you with this gibbous moon and the 10th house, whatever your career goals are, you are so close to achieving them. Don't give up. I'm actually hearing for this group number, group number one, you are so close to striking gold. You are so close to making your career goals. Don't give up now. In October, you are this close. So I just keep hearing the message, don't give up. Now, what I want to do is... If you have someone specifically on your mind in the month of October, we are going to go over how this person feels about you. So what I want you to do is think about the person you have on your mind romantically, and I'm going to reveal the way that they feel about you. Trigger warning, I am not going to spare anyone's feelings, so let that be known. All right, so the person on group number one's mind, how do they feel? They're definitely not someone who's very vocal about their feelings. They're definitely not. Um, the person on your mind, sh they secretly love you. I don't think this person is really good at expressing um, how they feel about people. I don't think this person is good at expressing with words how when they, when they love someone. But what this person doesn't tell you with cloud nine is they are they feel like you are everything that they wanted and more. You know, like they feel like you are a complete daydream like they daydream about you uh they want to tell you that they fell in love with you at first sight like as soon as they saw you they were like oh shit i'm in trouble this is my type this is my person like when they first saw you so guys whoever you have on your mind uh yeah they're they're into you so what i want to know though is with the person you have on your mind, what's currently going on in your situation? We have the Knight of Wands. Well, guys, um, someone here is charging forward and it's very less driven. And I think it's very obvious there's a lot of sexual, se exual, exual, exual chemistry between the two of you. Both of you feel it on an intuitive and soulful level. You guys feel excited whenever you are around each other still. Um, I think that they're, they're, what's interesting is this person is really good. Both of you are really good at pretending like each other doesn't phase one another. Both of you are really good at hiding your emotions and putting on your poker face, but there are definite feelings here, but I think both of you guys hold back. You've learned to have a poker face because I know like when you go through heartbreak or when you've been hurt by people, sometimes you know better than to show all of your emotions, you know, to have like a stoic, calm face. And I think that's what both of you have, but both of you are feeling this chemistry and this person, I feel like they, you're constantly on this person's mind with the Ace of Swords and their next action towards you with the Eight of Swords. Let me tell you something about this person, guys. They constantly want to be messaging you. Um, a lot of the times I'm hearing they're messaging you all the time or sometimes this person doesn't even know what to say to you. They just want to talk to you. So they're trying to like find the right words. And I'm also hearing this person like writes and deletes and rewrites messages as well. So um, in regards to the person on your mind, yeah. And for singles, like I was saying to you guys uh, earlier, I am seeing a new chapter in love beginning pretty quickly for you. 
Because, guys, October is always cuffing season. Why? Because the sun in sidereal astrology is in Libra, and this is when everyone wants to get cuffed. So now is the time to go on the dating apps. Now is the time to go looking for a relationship. And sometimes you're going to have to kiss a few frogs in order to find your prince, but just see it as exposure, exposure therapy. If you guys are scared of dating and you want love, just go out with someone you think is like, mildly attractive. You, you don't have to be that into them. Just get used to dating, you know? But I'm definitely seeing here that there's a Scorpio who feels like in October, you are a wish come true. Okay. So they could be a Scorpio sun, Scorpio rising and Scorpio moon. Now, uh, for those of you who are single, what's going on here? Okay, you guys need to work on your sad face. Uh, for those of you who are single, potential love interest feel that you kind of come off as sad and sadness is not attractive. We hide our depression. No, I'm just kidding. Everyone's gonna be like, Anita, you are so toxic. But for real, sadness is not attractive and that's not how you attract a mate. Some of you guys, you have the sad face going on. If you are single, the advice here is to smile more, be more light of heart, have the Marilyn Monroe effect, laugh more because you are coming on off as a very sad the type of people that you are attracting guys who are you attracting oh there's an aries stalking your social media as we speak group number one an aries sun an aries rising an aries moon some of you have a younger sibling that is an aries or a younger brother who's stalking your social media what do they think of you um, the hermit you guys have been a little bit of a recluse recently you have been not posting as much because I'm hearing you're actually enjoying living and experiencing your life or something like that. Um, you also have a lot of you guys have an Aries who's an ex who's been stalking you who wants to see if you're with someone else as well. They want to know if you're with someone else or if you've moved on. Okay. I'm also hearing, guys, you're about to get extremely lucky and have a once in a lifetime opportunity where you're going to meet. Uh, Meet someone very important on your path in October. So if I were you guys, I would definitely get out of your house and I would definitely be brave and go out and do things because I do see you meeting someone very important on your path. Um, and this is a work connection, guys, like a work or collaboration connection. All right. What's your money situation going to be like, group number one? We have the seventh house of partnerships and we have death. Some of you with your money situation, you might be going through a divorce and that's hurting your finances. Some of you are going through a breakup and that's hurting your finances. Or maybe some of you guys went through a breakup or an ending of a work, a business partnership. Like some of you guys could have ended a business partnership and that's hurting your finances. Something of that nature. And with the five of pentacles, uh, when it comes to money, there's a lot of positive things happening here, but I see your mindset being in a lack mentality when it comes to money in the month of October, where you might be feeling like you don't have enough, but you're still fabulous with the queen of wands. You're still working on your self-worth. You're still knowing your worth and don't worry. You will attract loads of abundance, um, you might feel a little challenged in October because of personal grief and heartbreak and sadness that you are going through. So October is going to be a time for you to channel that pain into your career because it is going to be successful, guys. All right. So uh, that is all I have for you. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I always enjoy reading your tarot and happy Halloween. Hi, group number two. For those of you guys who chose this option right here, this is your October prediction. Needed a little snack. This is your sign to eat more fruits and vegetables because it's good for you. All right, to group number two. So what we're going to do is I'm going to draw three angel cards for your October to start out. And we're going to see what the angel cards have to say for your October. So the first card we have is ask for what you want. There is an open door of manifestation for you in October where your prayers are being heard and your manifestations are being heard. 
And I actually heard for you guys that one of your wishes or one of your manifestations is definitely going to be coming true for you in the month of October. Now, I really want to get a clarifier to see what wishes could possibly be coming true for you this month because I am definitely seeing that. Let's ask this deck right here. What manifestation of yours is coming through for you in October? Only straight up and downs, no reversals. Some of you have been asking the universe to go through a major glow up. Okay, a lot of you guys with this card right here, actually, I'm going to cover it up because I don't, I, I just want to make sure we don't get sensitized here. It looks like a, a lot of you have been manifesting to be hotter. You've been manifesting to be more attractive. You've been manifesting to go through a huge glow up and this wish is coming true. And a lot of you guys might have also been manifesting, um, having options and love or having more people be attracted to you. And this is something I see as well with Venus and Aries, because if it's, if you're an Aries rising, Venus is your seventh house ruler and Venus is in your first house. So I'm seeing two manifestations in this card. A glow up is definitely in the cards for you. You guys are looking good, but also uh, attracting more love options as well. Let's see what other angel cards that we have. So the second card we have is life purpose. Oh my gosh, guys, whatever you are doing in October uses your natural skills and your natural talents that God and the creator has given you. And whatever you are doing in October is in alignment with your higher purpose, which means it serves you by giving you happiness and fulfillment, but it also serves others. So there's a huge career blessing I'm seeing here. And actually, I want to get some clarifiers on that card as well. What's going on with your life purpose in October? I am shuffling right now this career deck. And ooh, oh my gosh, a lot of you guys are actors or musicians or you are in the entertainment industry. This is so clear with these cards right here. So we have the first card that was clarified that says the media. So if you are in film, if you are in social media, if you're an actor or you're a director or a photographer or even a singer, as I see with voice or a voice actor, anything to do with media is your life purpose. So don't second guess it. You guys are talented in front of the camera or behind the camera. And a lot of you have a very entertaining voice. So you guys are my natural entertainers. So social media stars and Hollywood, here you come. That is your life purpose. Okay. We also have success. Oh my gosh, guys, in the month of October, you guys are in the frequency of being extremely successful, especially when it comes to your life purpose. You are going to be recognized, you're going to be seen, and you are going to be appreciated for your work. So I see a huge career blessing for those of you who are in the entertainment industry. This is amazing, guys. All right. Group number two, I feel like a lot of you live in LA like me. I just feel it or you're destined to live in LA. The reason why I know that is because I saw the 818 area code next to the number two on my computer. And I'm a huge, I'm a huge reader and believer in numerology. Um, if you guys follow me for a while, I am such an anal freak about numerology because I believe in it so much. I only live in houses where the numbers equal three and six because it's, because it's Jupiter and Venus. And, um, I really feel like a lot of you are destined to be in LA or Hollywood or be doing something very uh, glamorous when it comes to the media. And actually, I see that this is going to bring you a lot of fortune, guys. If you were thinking about taking an improv class, an acting class, a voice class, or something to do with like film or like making movies or something, I'm actually uh, seeing this is going to be really, really, really good for you. And you're going to get a lot of success in it. There's also this energy. One thing I'm noticing is we get a lot of yellow energy in your spread. We have the sun. We have uh, the energy of success and life purpose. A lot of you are going to be feeling very confident when it comes to your job. And what I'm hearing is you're going to get some huge wins in your career and job that really 
uh, raise up your confidence and make you feel really good about yourself. You're going to be feeling yourself. You're going to be feeling really confident. I bet in sidereal astrology, a lot of you are Taurus or Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising because your Ascendant ruler is going to be in Leo. But honestly, I'm just seeing this energy of joy and happiness and fun um, and kind of treating life like your own personal stage. So, so far, this is really positive. Let's get some more clarifiers about how you are going to be feeling in the month of October because group number one was going through it. Group number one was having some shower cries. I mean, honestly, that's probably my file, but group two, how are you going to be feeling? Okay. We have the hanged man here. That's not good. Um, I think a lot of you are feeling confused because you feel stuck in life. Okay. You feel like life is not moving forward. Maybe you guys are having a hard time taking action on something or committing to something or you're having a hard time knowing what path to take. And I just, I heard the message to tell you, you're, you're an entertainer. You're meant to be an entertainer. You are meant to be a singer. You're meant to be in film. You're meant to be an actor, something in the entertainment industry. So, um, keep doing what you are doing towards that direction. And this is going to be a very, very, uh, this is a general reading hundred thousands of you are going to watch this, but I'm really hearing this. This is what's in my heart. So I'm just going to stick to it. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Maybe I'll see you in the next one. But there's this energy guys where I think in the previous months, you've been feeling stuck. You're like creatively stuck. You feel stuck on what direction or what moves to take. You just feel stuck in life. But there's a shift happening for you in October where all of a sudden you're getting unstuck. That's what I'm seeing with the Mars energy. So maybe a sign this is for you is if in September and August, you've just been feeling like creatively stuck, like you have no clue what to do. You don't know where to go or to put your energy, maybe a lack of inspiration but in October, you're finally like taking some steps forward and they're very divinely guided. It's almost like your angels or your spirit guides are helping you with the motivation to move forward and really be honest with yourself about what it is that you want. Okay, so let's see what the other messages are for you. What I want to do first, guys, is we're going to enter into the love portion of your reading. And I want you to think about someone you have on your heart and mind, and I'm going to read their energy towards you and how it is that they feel about you. But then we're going to go into the singles or for people who have nobody in their life, we're going to read your October as well. So let's start out with if you have a crush or if you have someone in your heart or your mind, how is it that this person feels about you? I was told to get more cards. How is it that this person feels about you? You guys might be feeling rejected a lot in your love life where you're dealing with people who are very hot and cold. Listen, group number two, I do not sugarcoat my readings. And it looks like with this unrequited love, it looks like someone in your life is being super hot and cold with you. One minute they're into you, one minute they're not into you, their actions are not consistent. It's like one minute they're texting you, calling you all the time, next minute nothing at all. Um, they can be really, really sweet and they're also a really good friend to you. So that leaves you feeling super confused, right? Because they're so sweet to you, they're loyal, they're a good friend, but they're hot and they're cold. And with this unrequited love card, it kind of feels like in October, they might be backing away with this not investing. They might be in denial about how much they like you. They might be just in that moment where they're kind of being cold. Let's see why your lover is being cold. Why is it that they're being cold? Why are they not investing and why are they being cold all of a sudden? Lame, lame. Okay, some signs this is for you is if you are dating an Aries, sun, moon, or rising. You feel like this person is like no one you've ever met before. Okay, why are they not investing? 
So what I'm hearing, guys, is the reason why this person isn't investing is because your spirit guides are actually intervening in this connection and they are actually making this person reject you or pushing this person away. And I think that the reason why your spirit guides are, de they're definitely intervening in this relationship. How do I know? Because we have the lightning card and the lightning is divine intervention. Why? Because lightning is unpredictable. It's like the Zeus Zeus's uh, weapon. So this is divine intervention that they're kind of backing away or they're kind of uh, rejecting you in a sense. It's not because you're not good enough. It's actually your spirit guides and your angels protecting you. And I think the reason why they are doing it is because they want you to develop a, they want you to develop a relationship with God. They want you to get better at listening to your intuition. This is something I heard as well, because a lot of you group number two, um, your spirit guides or God or whatever you believe in is in close communication with you in the month of October. They are directly speaking to you. And I feel like they have directly spoken to you about this person and your intuition has told you about this person, but it's almost like you don't want to hear. So this is an exercise in listening to your intuition because you guys are psychic too. You are in communication with your higher self, with God and with the angels. And I feel like they want you to get better at listening to your intuition and also connecting with God. And I think also, yep, I, I heard that big beep. This is a time for you to connect with God or with spirituality. So for those of you who are single, what is happening in your love life for single people? Let's get into it. What's going on for single people in their love life? So it looks like what's happening is if you're single, it looks like with this falling apart and one-sided, the people that you like don't like you or the people that you like, you don't like. So it's never like a mutual connection. Like you like someone and they're unavailable or someone likes you and you get the giant ick. But if you're discouraged, don't be discouraged because the universe wants to tell you that there is someone new that they have planned for you that is going to enter your life. Now, I don't know if it's going to be in October or not, unfortunately, but there is someone new. You're not going to be single forever. Your spirit guides and God definitely has someone new for you in your life romantically. Let's see what they're going to be like. What's this, what are some hints about this person? So I feel like right now you're meant to surrender, release control and surrender with this Saturn in the 12th house and the hanged man. It looks like God is putting you through a hermit mode period. I definitely see that with Saturn, the 12th house and the hanged man. What this tells me is some of you could be Pisces rising in sidereal astrology, or you could be an Aries rising in tropical astrology because Saturn is trans, uh, transitioning your 12th house. But it looks like God is putting you in a hermit mode period where you are unwillingly alone or unwillingly single, which means you don't want to be single. You don't want to be alone, but God is forcing you to go into hermit mode and to be alone to do some serious healing. So if you guys are like, I'm single because I'm ugly and no one wants me. No, this is divine intervention. This is God that is forcing you to be in a hermit mode. Why is God forcing you to be in a hermit mode in October with the five of pentacles because you need to work on your self-confidence is what I'm hearing. You guys struggle from low self-esteem and accepting less than you deserve and not feeling good about yourself. So you're being put in a hermit mode to build up that strong sense of self and to really learn about yourself and develop stronger boundaries and realize you deserve more. You don't deserve just the bare minimum. You deserve princess treatment. You deserve a woman who's going to be supportive of you. A lot of you just take the bare minimum because you have low self-esteem. You accept behavior from people that's not acceptable. That leaves you feeling heartbroken. So your spirit guides are putting you in a self-imposed hermit mode so you can get to know yourself and build up your self-confidence. And once your self-confidence is built up, then true love is going to enter your life. Okay? 
that's what I really feel about you. I see you guys wearing a lot of workout clothes a lot in the month of October as well. So maybe you guys are getting into yoga or like working out. And I'm also seeing you guys are very uniquely beautiful, okay? Like you guys don't look like everyone else, which means you also have a very eccentric personality, a very different personality, and a very unique face. And I think this is what's going to make you famous in the film and media industry. You have a unique perspective. You have a unique look. And sometimes that might make you feel like ugly because like you're so different but no that's what makes you hot that's what makes you guys hot is the fact that you are so unique and you are so different and that uniqueness and that different is going to make you stand out okay on social media I'm hearing like not a lot of people look like you you don't see a lot of people who are like you you guys are definitely one of a kind and that's what gives you this star power or this creative power guys this is something that you need to know Honestly, guys, the vibes I'm getting is you attract, you date people who are beneath you. I knew some people need to lower their standards, okay? Like, they're, I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to be mean to some people, but some people really need to lower their standards. They have way too high of standards. They expect way too much from people. But you guys, I think, need to up your standards. And it's kind of like comical how you date people so beneath you that people are like, they're with them. And it's not just like about looks or anything shallow like that. It's like, the way these people treat you is not okay. And I think that you're being put in a hermit mode so you can see that and raise your self-worth a little bit, okay? Let's see uh, what kind of, uh, let's see for others of you, how potential love interest view you? How do potential love interest view you in October? <laughs> Your spirit guides are helping you all as well. They view you as a spirit guide or like angelic in a way. Someone sent to save them or rescue them. Someone who's very sweet. Someone who is very kind and ready to help or give money or assistance. You guys are too nice in love and you probably know that. You're probably like, I need to step into my dark feminine era, my bad bitch era. I need to stop being so nice. I just heard that song by the offspring called self-esteem where it's like i took her back and made her dessert while i know i should say no but it's kind of hard when she's ready to go it's like you're the freaking genie you're like poof what do you need poof what do you need poof what do you need to everyone that you date and i'm just hearing you're like this sweet loving nice kind person in love who's always willing to help and be there and nurture and support and people take advantage of that in you for sure and you know this because you're like i need to start listening to the sprinkle sprinkle lady i need to start being more of a dark feminine um energy and you guys do attract people who are who love bomb and go in and go out of your life pretty fast or you attract people you're not interested in at all you're like go away no thank you so it's never like mutual which really sucks i'm so sorry about that okay you guys have a lot of potential to make a lot of wealth and a lot of money and i just keep hearing guys that you, one of the reasons why you are beautiful which is a random message i just heard um i was told to tell you why you are beautiful you're beautiful because people can tell you're going to be something someday. People can tell that one day you are going to be something. You have a lot of potential. You have that star power. Uh, so that's why you guys are beautiful. And I just see you going through a massive like level up and transformation and glow up. So don't be so hard on yourself. You guys deserve so much more. All right. Let's see if any other messages come through for you guys. What are some final messages that are going to come through for you? All right, my spooky witches, are there any uh, other messages for you that want to come out? If you are a Pisces, you need to know that you are exceptionally beautiful. A Pisces in this group needed to hear that. Uh, Pisces, you are exceptionally beautiful. Never second guess that. You are super freaking pretty. There's a reason why you're meant to be in media. You have an eye for what's beautiful as well. Um, what else do you guys need to hear? 
What else do you guys need to hear for the month of October? Are there any other messages? Yep, you're definitely being put in a hermit mode by God, which means you cannot struggle out of it. You can't claw your way out of it. You might try to resist it, but God is putting you through a hermit mode for sure. Any mess? What is? What are the affirmations that you need to hear for the month of October? I am ambitious. I am popular. I am vibrant. I am confident. I am powerful. I am sexy. I am strong. I am taking charge. I am assertive and I am creative. So you guys need those self-love affirmations in the month of October. Those are going to work really well for you. Um, you can change your personality and your whole life with affirmations. That is a cheat code of life. And the affirmations you need is I am ambitious. I am popular. I am vibrant. I am powerful. I am sexy and I am strong. All right, guys, take care. Uh, Have a good spooky season and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, group number three, what's up? And welcome to your October prediction for love, career, as well as money. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to start out with three angel cards and I am reading as we go. So, you know, I whatever pops out is what pops out. So group number three, let's take a look at your October. Let, what, let's see what is going on. So the first card that we have is a relationship. Oh my gosh, group number three, relationship. Okay. Interesting. Let's get a few more cards before I jump to conclusions. We have healing hearts. Oh my gosh. Heart chakra energy for this month for sure. And then we have admit your true feelings for yourself. Interesting. Let's take a look at what this means. So it feels like this is a month of relationships for you. I think that you're going to have a lot of people admitting just how much they love you. Um, Yeah, I heard a big beep outside, guys, like a lot of people. I really feel, guys, that you're going to get a lot of messages. Did we hear that ding? Did we hear that ding? I think, guys, check your social media. Check your phone in October. Mark my words with the third house and the page of cups. I think you're going to be getting a lot of messages in your dating profile, in your phone, in your Instagram, on your TikTok from people who are like, listen, I really like you and I really like your vibe. And I don't think you know how much I like you. Like a lot of people, it's not just about love. Like I'm not getting that. It's like people from your workplace messaging you, people that you haven't spoken to in years and months, people you don't even know, just randomly messaging you saying, you know what? I, you're, your messages healed me. Like if you guys are tarot readers too, like people you look up to or like just random people going, I've had a crush on you for such a long time. Or like one of your friends just admitting like, Hey, I've liked you as more than a friend for a long time. Like there's this energy of you getting a lot of messages from people, um, who are just like, (sighs) I'm also hearing guys like, you're going to be invited out a lot as well. Like, hey, do you want to come to this party? Do you want to come to this get together? Do you want to go to this bar? So you're going to be getting a lot of, you guys are going to be super popular in the month of October. And there's this energy guys where with the star, there's definitely some like wish fulfillment that's coming through for you in October. You're going to be celebrating something for sure. Okay, let's see what it is that you're celebrating because I'm getting this energy of, oh my gosh, I reached this huge milestone. I'm hearing some of you, it's a birthday. You're going to be celebrating a birthday. But for others of you, let's see what it is that 
you are celebrating. Let's take a look at it. Getting a lot of celebration energy here. You know what I'm seeing here, group number three? I feel like with this 10 of wands, what I'm hearing is you guys have been overworked. Like your life is all work and no play, all work, stressed out. And your spirit guides are actually intervening as I see with this card right here. And they're like, October, it's time for you to have some fun. All you do is work. All you do, it's the same shit day in and day out. You don't have a lot of fun and your spirit guides are intervening and they're actually sending you opportunities to have more fun and to have a good time and to actually enjoy your life instead of just always working and going to school and, you know, like doing what you're supposed to do it's almost like the universe is like you never have fun so your fairy godmother your spirit guides are literally coming in and they're uh, giving you opportunities to have fun giving you invitations and i'm hearing guys you have an aries or a life path four who really really likes you by the way okay um some of you Okay, there's this interesting energy here where... Guys, you might be suffering from anxiety or depression or like racing thoughts. And a lot of the times when we go through seasons like this that are really challenging, like internally, because I'm getting this image, guys, where... Um, in October, even though so many positive things are happening to you, you're not perceiving positivity because you might be dealing with like anxiety or depression where you just, you don't feel good, you know? Like even though God's sending you all of these blessings and so many people who love you and invitations, it's almost like this feeling where you just feel really sad and you feel disappointed with your life. And I'm hearing like spirits say that the reason why you're going through this is because you're meant to lean on the people in your life. You're not meant to go through this alone. And Lisa, you better not. No, 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 stop. Don't get back in there. Get back in there. Time to call on your pack. My dog's about to run into my camera setup. You are not doing that. Do you want to say hi? Say hi. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, hi, baby. Who else's animals do this? Yosh, yawns. Rely on your friends. Rely on your pack. That's the message. That's why my dog jumped on here. No. You're my best friend. You are my best friend. You lick your butt, so I'm not gonna let you pick me. You smell so cute. <laughs> okay, okay. Mom's gotta work, mom's gotta work. I know, I know, I know, I love you. No, no, get back in the closet, get back. <laughs> Telling my dog to get back in the, get back in the closet, get back in that closet where you belong. Oh. Kind of like how my dog came in and cheered me up. The message for you is, if you're suffering internally, you're not supposed to suffer alone. This is the time where you're being sent friends and a support system. This is the time to rely on your connections. Call your mom, call your best friend, call the people in your life because there are people in your life who care about you. And sometimes when God puts us through a suffering season, it's because we are meant to rely on the people and the connections on our life because being vulnerable is how you form authentic connections. That's how you form authentic connections is by being vulnerable. So if you're struggling, you are going to cheer yourself up when you surround yourself with those who love you. That's what I'm getting, guys. So you're going to be um, surrounded by lots of people who love you in October, as cheesy as that sounds. So I am reading as we go. So keep that in mind. All right, let's see. The first card that you have is the card of surrender. The second card that's coming out for you is the card of blessing in disguise. Ooh, ooh, group number three. Yikes. <laughs> don't be scared. We're going to clarify it. I don't know why I said yikes. I didn't mean to freak you guys out. 
the third card we have is healing. So it looks like there is a blessing in disguise that's happening in your life that's asking you to surrender into faith. Now, I personally don't like the energy of blessing in disguise because that to me is like whenever spiritual people say it's a blessing in disguise, you know how like Southern women, they have their own language and they say one thing, but it really means another. Spiritual people will say blessing in disguise when it means you feel a little bit challenged and uh, you're trying to think positive about it, but you're like, damn universe, why? Let's see how you're being challenged. Let's take a look at it. We have the page of wands and we have the three of swords. It feels like guys, the energy I'm feeling is like, maybe you're in a talking stage where you felt chemistry with someone and then the chemistry just did not work out. It didn't go the way that you planned or with the page of wands, maybe you were excited about something. You were excited about a new venture or you were excited about something new that had a lot of potential that had a lot of promise. But with the three of swords, it turned out to be a giant disappointment. Now, before you click off, like uh, Anita, I did, not, I did not sign up for all of this negative reading stuff. I feel you and we're going to get to the good stuff. But hey, I'm, I'm doing it as we go. So I can't really help what comes out. But it just looks like something you were excited about just just fizzled out. Maybe it was a friendship. Maybe it was someone you have a lot of chemistry with. Or maybe it's just something you were really excited about that didn't pan out. And I guess spirit wants you to know that rejection really is God's protection. I'll tell you something, guys. If I got what I wanted at 18 years old, I would have my chemical romance tattoos all on my arms. And you know what? I love my chemical romance. I can't even lie. I do. But if I had my chemical romance tattoos on my hands and my arms like I wanted at 18 years old, I promise you at 30 years old that I would not be liking those tattoos. So thank God it never panned out. And it's kind of like that energy where right now, it might seem like, man, this really sucks. It didn't pan out. I was really excited about this, but trust me, your future self knows something you don't. God knows something that you don't, and it's a blessing in disguise. And actually guys, I really do feel this for you that if something doesn't work out that you were excited about, it's because, you know, God's really saving your butt. You know, maybe that partner you were really into, they would have been a deadbeat father, a deadbeat mother, and, you know, you just saved yourself years of heartbreak. Or maybe it's like this new creative project, but there's no money in it or something. You know, it's some, it's something you're really passionate about that just didn't pan out because maybe you need to surrender to God's timing. Um, the positive that I see is that there is a lot of healing that you are doing in the month of uh, October. So I definitely feel that, guys. Like, I'm definitely feeling a healing energy. Let's see what this is about with the snow moon. A lot of you in an October, you might be feeling you know, a little bit, I don't know if this is focusing guys, <laughs> bear with me with my technical difficulties, but in October, you guys might be feeling a little low energy and that is okay. You know, I know a lot of us Capricorns, sometimes when we don't feel productive or we're not feeling energized or we're low energy, we, we think it means that, oh my gosh, I'm headed towards failure. I'm headed towards ruin. Nothing's going to work out for me. When really our body works in cycles, the energy works in cycles, so it just feels like October is a cycle with the snow moon where you need more sleep, you need more rest. And honestly, the universe is supporting that. Like, hey, if you need to take a self-care day where you don't go out, you just lay in bed all day, you know what? Maybe your body needs it because it kind of feels like that. Honestly, with your main focus, I'm feeling like a lot of you are just dealing with a lot of overwhelm where your schedule feels really busy. And they say that anxiety is just conspiracy theories about yourself. So I feel like you're dealing with a lot of anxiety that's draining your energy. But I am seeing with this Mars and Pisces card, I think that in October, I see you guys going to a beach or just taking a break or a vacation to really heal yourself and get clarity of mind. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move into your... Uh, 
career sector of your reading. Let's get some energies of what's going on in your career. And I am going to be using this career deck that I have that is really amazing. And don't worry, we are going to get into the other good things coming into your life. Okay, let's take a look here. One thing I will say about you guys is you are very hard workers. I see that with the laborer card. You guys are hard workers. You're not, you're not lazy at all and you work very, very hard, but it just feels like progress is slow or maybe in October you are feeling a little slower than normal. You're like, you know what? I need to take it a little slow. I need to move a little slow in October because I'm trying to achieve more balance in my life. It kind of feels like guys, uh, you're looking to have a better work home life balance in the month of October and you're not rushing to the finish line. You're stopping to enjoy the view in October instead of racing towards your goals. All right. Now let's see what else is going on here for you guys when it comes to love. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start out with if there's someone on your mind, we're going to see how this person feels about you in the month of October. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about someone that you have on your heart and your mind, and we are going to reveal the way that they feel about you in the month of October. So if you have your person on your heart and mind, it could be a crush, it could be someone you're seeing, it could be an ex, whatever. We're going to see how they feel about you in October. So group for group number three, how does the person on their mind feel about group number three? For group number three, how does the person on their mind feel about group number three? Okay, we have bad vibes clearing up. So what this is telling me, guys, is I feel like they had some animosity towards you in the past, but recently um, their animosity towards you or their grudge towards you has started to lift. Maybe it's because you guys spent more time together and they realized how much they like you. Or I'm also hearing they want to see you. They want to spend time with you. And the more time they spend with you, the more they like you is what I'm hearing. Uh, the person on your mind is all in, guys. They're ready to really work things out through the good and the bad. And they are realizing that relationships aren't perfect. Your person might have had grass is greener syndrome where they maybe liked somebody else because you guys were having problems. But what I'm seeing guys is like the person on your mind, there was definitely some problems in the relationship and I think that this person is realizing that no matter what relationship that you're in, there's going to be problems. There's going to be issues. No relationship is perfect. And the bad vibes or the bad animosity they had towards you is definitely clearing up. And I think that they're realizing they want you in their life for sure. 100%. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Cancer Sun, Moon and Rising. How does this person see you? Oh my gosh, with the two of cups, guys, whoever you have on your mind, uh, this person, this is one of the two major soulmate cards in tarot. Uh, the two of cups is like one of the biggest energies for love. So the person on your mind feels like you guys are twin flames, twin souls, that you're soulmates. And they see you as um, not their perfect match because they're realizing that Nobody's perfect, but they're seeing you as the one that they want to be with. So group number three, this is a really good sign, especially if your person has walked away with Saturn and Pisces. Maybe uh, you guys were realizing that you're not this idolistic fantasy that both of you made up in your heads. You know, sometimes when we first get to know people, we have this idolistic view of them, but it looks like that fantasy has been crushed and they're realizing that you're not a perfect person, but they almost love you more for it. So there's this energy where they walked away and they definitely want to reunite with you or try to make this relationship work with you. I feel like someone here was super avoidant or dishonest, or they snuck away from the relationship because they didn't want it to work in the past. And now they're realizing that the grass isn't greener. They don't want anybody else. And you're the one that they want. Okay. Uh, how do, would you know this is for you? Give me some hints about the person that you're asking about. 
Okay, give me some hints about this person. I'm hearing they want to beg for you back or they want to uh, like get on their hands and knees and say, I'm sorry, I was wrong. I want to come back. Like they want to put away their ego. So give me hints about the person they're asking about. Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords. This person has brought you a lot of pain in the past because they were in their fuck boy or F girl era. The Knight of Wands in Tarot always talks about someone who is a heartbreaker. They're in and they're out. They, you know, if this is a divine masculine, they're in your bed at night, they're gone by the morning. They, or if this is a woman, they are very tied to their freedom. They don't want to settle down. They might be playing with you and then talking to your friend. So there's this energy of someone here that wasn't ready to settle down and it actually like broke your heart or this person was very careless with your heart, but I'm seeing that whoever you're asking about, they've grown up a lot. They've become a lot more mature and they're realizing that they, they did you wrong. I'm actually hearing they want to apologize to you. They're realizing that your connection is a lot more special than what they treated it as. Okay, so group number three. I hate these new cards because sometimes they get stuck on the desk and it totally drives me absolutely crazy. All right. Group number three, I'm actually hearing for you, like some of you might haven't had an ex that like totally bolted and ghosted. Like it could have been someone you were talking to, like they were just in it for the, for the physical stuff and they were careless with your heart and they acted like you didn't matter and they were just using you for physical stuff. But this person has done some growing and actually group number three, like I'm picking this person up in your energy. They're realizing that your connection was not as common as they treated it. You know, at the time when they were dealing with you, they felt that you had a connection, but they were too immature to realize how special that connection was. And I think that they were careless with you. They acted like a narcissist with you. And they were like, oh, I got what I wanted from you. Bye, peace out. But that's because this person was super immature. And um, when they got older, they realized that, wait a second, that connection that I treated like was whatever, I'm realizing that I haven't met a lot of people like this person. I haven't had a connection like I did with you guys. I, I don't meet people very often that I feel so connected to. And I was wrong for discarding group number three because it took me growing up to realize how special our connection was. So group three, if you have an ex that was super, like they bolted on you, they were acting narcissistic with you. I'm telling you that they grew up a lot and they dated and they, they lived their life and they realized that the connection they threw away with you was a lot more special than what they treated it. And they have regrets about it every day. I'm telling you guys, they do. You know, because a lot of the times when we have connections with people, especially when we're younger, we think, oh, I'll, well, this is a common thing. I'll find it with someone else. And then you realize, uh-uh, connections are not that common. Love connections where you really connect like that are not that common. And one of your exes definitely feels that way about you. Group number three. I'm picking that up so strongly. So uh, whatever you guys are doing, you know, guys, I, I'm just going to be real with you with this 10, this 10th house and the 10 of swords. Some of you might feel backstabbed by the people in your job. You might feel like it's time to end the career that you're in, you know, uh, something about your career. Maybe it's time for a redirection. Do you know what I mean? Group number three, sometimes uh, you might be feeling in your soul it's time for a redirection in your job. You might, you might intuitively be feeling like you can't be doing the same thing you've been doing at your career. Maybe, you know, that's the energy I'm seeing in October. 
okay? Um, there's a Taurus in your family who's been thinking about you a lot as well. All right, let's see what else is going on here, guys, for you. Uh, let's get some further messages. I'm trying to figure out what topic I want to do for the rest of your October. Uh, there's this energy... Can I have some other messages, please, that come out for group number three? And then we're going to end with your affirmations. What are some other messages for group number three? What are some other messages for group number three? Uh, your intuition, you guys are doing a really good job at tuning in your intuition and discerning what is anxiety, what is fear, and what is your intuition. You guys are super, super intuitive, and I think your intuitive gifts have done nothing but grow stronger. Group number three, I'm also hearing like, you have a really good intuition for people's true motives. Some of, your, some of you guys have hunter eyes, or you have eyes that slant upwards, or fox eyes. Uh, in face reading, that means that you're able to see people's true intentions. And recently, with this Five of Swords, you know, some of you guys are able to read people like a book. You're like, that person doesn't like me. That person has bad intentions. That person is a low key bitch. That that person's talking shit behind my back. Like you just know these things intuitively. And I'm really hearing your spirit guides go, you know, don't second guess that intuition about toxic people because recently it has been spot on in October. You're able to see things very clearly. Don't let people gaslight you guys, okay? Your first impression of people is normally right group number three. So now let's see what blessings are coming your way in October. What good things are coming your way in October? What good things are coming your way in October? Um, I see happy times with your family. Happy times with your family. Spending good times with your family. Some of you are even going to take a little bit of a trip. I see that as well. Like I'm seeing you get in the car and I'm seeing you go somewhere and this trip's going to be very blessed. Okay. I'm also seeing like another blessing coming your way is you're going to be a lot more healthier as well. Like you're meditating to help with your mental health. Like I'm actually seeing you guys are like eating healthier or meditating to help with your mental health. And you're going to see the positive effects of that. If you're in Aries, sun, moon, or rising, you are going to be the most blessed in the month of October. And I'm seeing like good times with your family guys, like for real, like you know, hanging out with your family, hanging out with your family unit and actually having a really good time, stuff like that. All right. And I'm hearing if you guys are going through sadness, grief and heartbreak, you're going to get over it really fast. That's what I'm hearing. And it's going to do nothing but empower you as well. Let's see what affirmations you need to hear for the month of October. Let's end with your affirmations. What affirmations does group number three need to hear? I am attracting the right people to me. I am attracting my soul tribe. I am a talented manifester. The future looks bright for me. So guys, the affirmations you need is I am attracting good friendships. I am attracting my soul tribe. I am attracting people who resonate with me and love me for my authentic self. And I'm also a bomb ass manifester. These are the affirmations you need. These affirmations are going to work the best for you in October because these wishes are ready to be birthed in your reality. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Sign up for my Patreon if you want more content from me and I will see you later. Bye.